Welcome back to Lonely Man BGs and this series on how to play Mage Knight. In this video, we'll be going through fame and leveling as well as reputation. This is the fame and reputation board, with fame on the left and reputation on the right. Fame is earned throughout the game by destroying evil creatures, searching through ruins, etc. This is also how Mage Knights level up. Reputation is how your character is perceived throughout the game, and it can be neutral, positive, or negative. Let's talk about the fame track first. Each row on the fame track represents a single fame level. At the start of the game, all players begin with zero fame, and one of their shield tokens is placed on that space. Since Goldix is on the first row, he is at fame level 1. As players gain fame, they move their shield token along the track. In this example, Goldix has managed to defeat this cursed hag, so he will gain fame. He will gain fame equal to the number located on the flag at the bottom of the unit token. The enemy token is removed from the board. In this example, defeating the Cursed Hag grants Goldix 3 fame, which advances him to the second fame level. As players gain fame levels, they will earn advances in cards, level tokens, and skills. At the start of each row is either a level token or an advanced action card and skill symbol. For example, Goldix just earned a fame level of 2, so he will earn an advanced action card and a skill token. Goldix has two choices when leveling up. Let's go through the first. First, two skill tokens are drawn. Next, the player will choose one of the skill tokens. Skill tokens offer special actions and effects. Each player has a reference card that shows what each skill token can do, and how often. In this case, Goldix takes one skill, and he places it in his hero area. The other skill is placed into the common skill area. Next, Goldix will take any single advanced action card from the advanced action offering. He takes Crushing Bolt, and places it on top of his deed deck. The first card moves down in the offering, and a new one comes out. The second option. Goldix may forgo taking either of his skills that he drew. Instead, he may choose to take a skill from the common skill area, placing it in his hero area. When taking another hero's skill, the player does not have an option in advanced action cards and must take the card from the lowest position in the offering. Goldix must take Pure Magic, which is the lowest position, and places it on his deed card deck. The other cards fill in, with the new card filling the highest position. Let's perform another example, where Goldex has leveled up to fame level 3. Instead of earning that advanced action and skill token, Goldex will flip a level token. These are level tokens. First, level tokens indicate the armor level of the Mage Knight. Second, level tokens indicate the hand size of the Mage Knight. Goldex's current level token lasts through fame levels 1 and 2, so now it will be flipped. The level token becomes a command token and increases the Mage Knight's command limit, allowing Goldex to have more units. Goldex's armor level has increased by 1, and this level token lasts through fame level 4. Now we will take a look into the other side of the board, the reputation track. While fame can only rise, reputation can either rise or fall depending on the Mage Knight's actions. At the beginning of the game, the hero will place one shield token on the central space of the board. The people have a neutral opinion about them and their deeds. As heroes kill orcs and other enemies that terrorize the land, the reputation increases, while pillaging villages and acting violently does exactly the opposite. Let's say Goldix is at a village, and he wants to hire a unit from the unit offering. This Utem crossbowman costs 6 influence. Goldix will play Promise, and he will also play March and Mana Draw sideways. Promise grants him 2 influence, and the 2 cards played sideways grant him an additional 2. The hero's reputation also counts as influence, and Goldex has plus 2 on the reputation track. This gives Goldex 6 total influence, so he is able to convince the unit to join his army. Just the same, if Goldex were to have a negative reputation of 3, he would have to pay an additional 3 influence on top of the existing influence cost. The bonus or penalty for reputation only occurs once each turn. Certain card actions can cause a hero's reputation to change. For example, using the Threaten card normally grants the user 2 influence, but using the Powered Up version grants 5 influence while decreasing the player's reputation by 1 at the end of the turn. Players may also perform evil deeds, like Plundering Villages, which grants the evildoer an additional 2 cards in his hand, but decreases his reputation by 1. Other deeds, like Burning a Monastery, may also cause drops in reputation. And this concludes our video on Fame, Leveling, and Reputation. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching this series on Mage Knight.